Welcome to the Nicholas 11X12 technology. In this video, I'd like to compare AMD's R9 Fury, the non-X version, with Nvidia's GTX 980 graphics card. Both very interesting competitors. Surprisingly, AMD's R9 Fury does cost more than Nvidia's GTX 980 right now. Who knows, that might change in the future, but that's how it is right now. How well do these graphics cards stack up against each other? Let's find out. Very interesting results. As you saw yourself, the R9 Fury often beats the GTX 980. Not exactly by much, but it's of course also depending on the game you throw at it. GTA 5 for instance doesn't seem to perform that well on AMD GPUs as it does on Nvidia's for instance. But then again I went for the most popular screen resolution there is, that's 1080p. I ran quick tests with this Fury at high resolutions as well, including 4K, and there's a bigger difference between these two GPUs. The Fury clearly being the winner, but even at 1080p, very good results. The temperatures for being air-cooled are very good too, and same can be said about the acoustics in my opinion. The power consumption still is higher on the Fury, but the GTX 980 does only consume about 10% less power. So it's not that much of a difference in general. Both are very efficient GPUs. Use, I'd say. As for VRAM, both the GTX 980 as well as the R9 Fury are equipped with 4GB. However, the 980 makes use of the slower GDDR5 memory, whereas the Fury makes use of HBM, so fast high bandwidth memory. AMD could work a bit on the price performance ratio by simply lowering the price of the Fury a bit. It would make it a much better value. Don't get me wrong, but in my opinion this R9 Fury should compete with Nvidia's GTX 980, not the 390X. If AMD lowered the price a bit to at least match the one of the GTX 980, that would be a real real strong competitor indeed. Overall, both are very very good graphics cards. And at this point I'm not even sure, but I personally would pick the R9 Fury over the GTX 980. But that's a real tough decision to make. But then again, there's a not so small price difference. Let's hope the prices on the Fury cards drop soon. What are your thoughts on this new Fury GPU? I hope this video could help you out. Stay tuned for more upcoming videos with this R9 Fury. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit my website to see videos there earlier than on YouTube.